Hi guys, I'm here again and here is another episode of Very Unusual and in this video I will be sharing you my review and first impression about this 4 Master Sebum Control Primer. This one is from Aritom. Actually it's being said that it's a dupe of that of the Professional by Primer. Professional Primer by Benefit. That's why yeah, I wanted to give it a try. So keep on watching. So it's been a while since the last time I tried a primer and actually that one made my skin oilier throughout the day. That's why since then I didn't settle with any primer anymore. It's just that I set my uh, BB cream or my cushion with powder so as to keep it intact and so as to, you know, keep excess sebum away. But this time, I'd like to give it a try once again because I would like to cover my pores, my visible pores around my nose and on my cheeks over here. So those are my primary concerns. And yeah, this one I thought for the price is not that pricey. And I was impressed with most of the reviews that were done also by other vloggers. That's why I got my hands on this product. So let's see if it will live up to my expectations. Alright, so let me show you closely. As you could see, I have redness around my nose. And then look at this one. It's so gross, just ignore it. I'm so sorry, I got it last night. So probably I would have to wake up in the morning with it for the next five days. <laughs> I'm not sure though. But anyway, let's give this primer a try. I'll just apply it using my fingers. Okay, so let me just put it here. Actually, upon application, guys, you would really feel how smooth it is. It's so very easy to glide. It's like a smooth powder. It's powdery at the same time. Okay. So, I'm seeing that my pores are somehow being covered already. I think if you don't have much issues on your face, you could apply this one as is, even though you don't have uh, some BB cream on or a cushion. I think it could be used as is already. So I just put a lot here. And of course, it's being said that if you use a primer, then your foundation and your BB cream will last longer, right? Mm. Okay, so let me put more in this area. Yeah, it will leave your face really smooth. I could feel it. Mm. So, I think so far, like what I mentioned a while ago, it has covered most of my pores over here. And yeah, it's pretty smooth and I thought it's very light on the face. So you won't really feel anything at all. So if you are, if it's summer in your area, just like in the Philippines, it's summer now. And then I will not, I don't really like that heavy finish and that heavy, you know, feel on my face. So if you are just going to the beach, I think this one will live up to it and just cover it with um, powder, this powder. Yeah, but with me, for the benefit of this review, I will be using my APU Nanco tinted cream so this one is just one shade and I already reviewed this product for those of you who have not watched that video yet please check the link down below this one has a light coverage so I thought it would complement with this primer There's a way I could cover my big part. <laughs> I'm sorry, really. But I don't want to infect it even more, guys. That's why I don't like to cover it much with foundation. So I'm sorry. I will 
leave it as is, so we have to bear with it for the rest of this video. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, by the way, you know what? This cushion, it's really very moisturizing at the same time. So when I use this one, I only apply sunscreen with me. I don't use... Um, what do you call that? Moisturizer anymore. Though, it really has a light coverage. So, it won't cover much of those blemishes or redness, inflammation you have on your face. So, that's it for this one. I have just finished applying the rest of my CC cream, guys. I will be getting back to you on my first update about this primer, okay? Hey guys, so I've been wearing this primer for like almost two hours now and so far, I could somehow see some oiliness on my nose um, and on my forehead but this is my my t-zone is really my oily part and i think it's tolerable it's not that drastic compared to my previous um experience before or the usual experience that i get but yeah it's because i haven't gone under the sun yet so all throughout i'm I'm just driving so I'm under air condition area that's why probably it's not too much uh, let's see I will go down now and meet some friends so I will be keeping you posted mm -hmm. hi again guys so I'm so sorry that I wasn't able to keep you posted with the other events that I attended to it's just that I've been really so tied up so I was unable to find time to keep you posted. Nevertheless, these are the pictures that I captured with this primer. I never retouched, I never set this with loose powder, so I'm very happy because it has minimized my oiliness. At the same time, it has really improved the uh, longevity of my CC cream. That's right. So overall guys, I am happy and satisfied with this product. With the price, it's more than half the price of the benefit a uh, pore primer so yeah i think it's worth a try so you're getting 25 ml it goes a long way a little goes a long way and also like what i mentioned it has kept my uh foundation intact despite the fact that it's summer in the philippines it's so hot and it made my skin very soft you would really feel how soft your skin is it's very easy to apply and it doesn't overpower the color of my foundation of my BB, of my CC cream at the same time I like it that I could wear it as is especially I could just uh, set it with powder so overall I will be giving this product 7 out of 10 guys if you like this video please give it some love and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do subscribe and I'll see you again next week happy weekend <laughs>